In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite shotgun runs, how to use them, the concepts around them, and what they can teach you about running the ball in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. Let me ask you a question here as we start out. What is it that, what are the couple things, what are the one or two things that you need to do to improve in Madden 21? To win more games, what do you think you need to do? And all of us probably have a plethora of ideas. I just want to let you know my channel is here um, and designed to help you get better. So I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as I was thinking about that, one of the things that really popped out in my head as far as one of the things that I needed to do personally to get better at Madden 21 is to better understand the running game and better understand when to run certain runs, right? Against certain fronts, against certain uh, packages, and again, again, against certain concepts. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about that as as far as, it, as far as it uh, relates to the shotgun uh, in the Arizona Cardinals playbook, that's what I am running, and that is what I would recommend everybody run. The full scheme to this is in the description with all the passing setups. We're just talking about the run game here, and I'm going to share with you my top five running plays from the Arizona Cardinals playbook in Madden tw NFL 21. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys. Um, Number five on our list is going to be from the shotgun uh, doubles Y offset. And the play that we're going to be running is the jet touch pass. This is my number five play because it's just a unique run. Um, you know, it's not as good as it was last year, but it's still very, very effective. As you can see here, jet touch pass in general will always be effective because it's literally a quick jet sweep. The defense really does have to have really, really good outside contain. And all I want you to do is master the art of the double juke, right? For this run, if you master the art of the double juke, then what you can do is if they are widened out against you, um, you'll see here. I can double juke back and come underneath that outside guy uh, very, very easily. So the jet touch pass, in my opinion, is my fifth best run in Madden 21 from the Cardinals playbook. Because again, there's two windows to run it. As you see there, there's that little double juke cut against the green against the defense. Now, number four on our list does come from the same formation. I really, really like this run in the red zone. I love running this run out of a no huddle situation. In my opinion, it is absolutely incredible. And that is the fake jet pass power. What's gonna happen is a lot of times the user is going to flip right off of this and you're gonna be able to slam it right up the middle for a quick four, a quick five. This is a really, really phenomenal play on the red zone. It's very, very difficult to shoot this play. What you'll find about Madden 21, this is at least what I'm finding, is plays with pulling guards really are working really, really well this year. And so that's why this is our number four run in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. You don't have to have Lamar Jackson to run this. I run this with Aaron Rodgers all the time. In fact, I've ran this before with Dan Marino and Madden Ultimate Team. You don't have to have a super fast quarterback though it does help a little bit you can see this is one of the better runs in madden 21 the number three run and the run that is getting a lot of press in the community right now is the quarterback draw and that is from either the empty base or the bunch quads i personally prefer the bunch quads version and you'll see right here this is truly one of the best runs in the game because you can run it inside you can run it outside quarterback seldomly fumble this year you can actually put in you know for the packers if i wanted to put in their backup quarterback i could do that but you see here if you're patient with this run you can run it inside you can run it outside to the right you can run it outside to the left and that's what makes it so good because you can run it from any any five wide pretty much in madden um, and especially out of arizona both five wides do allow you to run the quarterback draw now, before we go into our top two running plays, I wanted to cover something really, really quickly with you. I have what is called a texting membership. And how a texting membership works is basically all you have to do is I put my uh, cell phone number in the top left-hand corner of every single video that I do. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. And I love giving that out because I'm trying to give you guys as much access to me as possible so that you can ask your questions and so that you can get better. So all you have to do to sign up for the texting membership is basically every single week, I am going to help kind of cut the clutter and simplify down a straight to the point one video uh, per week to my text message members and the video is going to be designed to be basically a high level concept a high level tip a high level tactic a high level summary of what you can expect to see in weekend league in the meta in the pro circles 
what the pros are doing and why and it's going to be a little bit of a longer video but it's going to be very very um straight to the point if you will because we're going to basically be focusing on high level concepts that i don't necessarily have the ability to jump all the way into on my youtube channel so youtube members are not um just because you subscribe doesn't mean you're going to get this. What you're going to have to do if you want access to this video is you're going to just going to have to text in. Again, my cell phone number is 812-216-3644. All right, guys. My number two run in Madden 21, at least from Shotgun, it comes to us from the Shotgun uh, wing slot offset. I really, really like these types of runs this year, and that is the Power O. I love runs that are basically like cutback runs like little trap runs little quick power runs and what i like about this run is you could actually run it two to three different directions you can run it right down the middle if you're if they're spreading their defensive line you see here i can cut it right up the middle very very easily now with the double juke feature you you could actually run this in a lot of different ways here you see there i can use that double juke to kind of um maneuver my way up the middle of the field but what's also really powerful about this run is you can run this um, to the outside as you can see right there I can I can easily bounce this run and it's actually really more designed to be a little bit more of an outside run but you see here the running lanes that are going to come open and this is what I'm talking about about running the ball from shotgun this year is actually really really good if you use a pulling guard if you use a pulling guard sky is the limit in my opinion and you are going to be double juking people for days so uh, I love the power O. I love the 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 HB you know any pulling guard type of run this year in my opinion is really really powerful all right, guys, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be one of the best runs in Madden 21, especially from Shotgun, and that is from the Shotgun Cluster. It doesn't just have to be from the Cluster, but it is the HB Counter. HB Counter runs this year, whether it be from Pistol, whether it be from Shotgun, whether it even be from Under Center, are really, really underrated. They're very, very effective, and basically what you'll see with these runs is you can play you can basically bounce them to the left to the right to the outside and it really does put a lot of sh and it really does put a lot of strain on your uh user you know whoever whatever they're doing as a as a user so i love the halfback counter um you know i think this is a very very effective run in fact i actually learned this from Hoodie 904 along with uh, AntCap24 have been talking a lot about counter runs this year and, and how effective they are. And I must say, you know, at least from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, I was playing a, a lab game against Hoodie 904, and we might be playing tonight on stream if you guys want to come by and catch that stream at uh, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. But I was playing him, and he was killing me with this run. And the funny part is I am more of a pass-based player. I don't really run the ball a ton. But I'm telling you right now, this this run right here is really, really, really effective. Um, and then you could actually pair it very closely with an outside zone. Um, the gun cluster is really, really effective this year because it's a very balanced formation. You can pass from it. You can run from it. As you can see, that outside zone gets pretty good blocking in and of itself. Um, but if you combine the outside zone and the halfback counter – you are going to be sitting very, very pretty in your run game. The reason I like the counter is because you're going to get an automatic instant push right up the middle of the field. And so it's kind of like that power O run where I can run it to the middle if I want to, or I can mount it outside. And it just really allows me the opportunity to read. Now, very rarely will you get something like that right there. And in that position, you know, we if we ran the ball with the outside zone, we would have been just fine. Uh, as you can see, the outside zone here, more of a sweep style of run. But jet touch pass, fake, uh, little quarterback powers, uh, quarterback draws, and then I absolutely love the halfback power O's and the halfback counters. So a lot of misdirection type runs, a lot of pulling guard type runs this year um, are very, very effective to me. But I think it starts with the fact that you get such a good push at the front of the line of scrimmage. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe. Join the texting membership just by texting in. If you have ever had a Madden question, you can always hit me up via text or you can actually throw that in our community discord our discord which is a great place for you to be able to connect not just with me but with other madden 21 uh, gamers as well that's where you can find lab partners where you can really build community and really take that um, madden dream of yours to become successful to the next level in my opinion there's nothing that's going to help your success quite like 
Discord, especially if you're active in there and you are um, chatting in the chat and you are connecting with people. That's the ultimate uh, and best step you can take. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for um, watching today's video. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to pick up the Arizona Cardinals uh, Madden 21 Competitor's Guide, all you got to do is check out the description. I have a link for you right there. That has the rest of the run plays that we love from this playbook. And it also has the really, really dominating passing plays and route combinations that make this air raid playbook so effective. So these runs this year are very effective. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, and I thought it'd be a good time because of the fact that Hoodie just did a great job running these uh, great runs on me uh, in our last matchup. And we'll be playing probably tonight on stream, so be sure to come by hang out. We stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. We'll see you there.